Hi, my name is Taylor Anderson. I'm a product manager with Amazon EC2. And today we're gonna to be talking about automation, which is one of the seven capabilities within Amazon EC2 Systems Manager. We created automation based on customer feedback that we heard around the maintenance and overhead associated with Amazon machine images. More specifically, customers told us that there were a lot of triggers that caused them to build a new image. And with that, that included additional effort on their part. So for example, every time Amazon released a new image from EC2, a lot of customers go out and then build their own custom image from that Amazon EC2 AMI. Additionally, customers also told us that they're building images as part of a CI-CD pipeline. And that also is an ongoing effort to continuously build new Amazon machine images. So what we decided to do was to create an automation service that streamlines the ongoing process of maintaining, patching, and building Amazon machine images. And by using that, customers will then have an auditable process, which can be repeated as often as necessary to generate custom images internally. So today we're gonna to talk about how you can use automation in your organization to maintain images as well. First, we're gonna start off today by creating the roles, IAM roles that is, needed by automation. And then second, we're gonna actually run an automation workflow using a public AWS automation document that you can use and get started from quite easily. Then finally, we'll monitor the execution of that automation and then, as a final step, we'll show you how to create your own automation document where you can create your own custom automation execution. Our first step here is to set up the IAM roles needed by automation. And we're gonna do that using CloudFormation. In fact, we're gonna set up a CloudFormation stack. Once that stack is created, we'll have the roles that we need to then subsequently go through our example workflow today, which will be Update Linux AMI. So let's go ahead and jump into the CloudFormation console and I'll show you how to set up those roles. All right, so I'm in my uh, AWS console here and I'm gonna click on CloudFormation, which will of course open up the CloudFormation console. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a stack. I'm gonna click Create Stack and then I'm going to choose a file also known as a CloudFormation template. So I'm gonna choose, choose File. And in this case here, what I've done is I've actually created a file locally that has the CloudFormation template in it. So in this case, I've called this file automationdemo.yaml. I'm gonna go ahead and open it, and then I'm gonna click Next. Now, I need to come up with a name, so I'm gonna call this my automation demo. I'm gonna click Next. And then I'm gonna to need to click Next one more time. And there's a special checkbox I need to acknowledge that I might be setting up some resources, really incidental at this point. I'm gonna click Create. So looking at the results here, we can see that we have a managed instance profile. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab that resource ID. And for now, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it into a scratch pad here. There it is. I'll make this a little bit wider. And then I need to get the ARN. So the way I can do that is I can jump into the service role and I can click on this here. And now I'm in IAM and I'm going to grab this ARN up here. I copy and paste that into my scratch pad as well. All right, so now I have the three ingredients I need to launch update Linux AMI. So let's jump over to the EC2 console and I'll tell you a little bit about the workflow that we're going to execute. So we're going to go over to EC2 and then I'm going to go to automations down in the left hand nav here. And you can see here I've actually run several automation executions previously. And if I click on any one of these, I can actually see details regarding that execution. So let's go ahead and run our automation execution here. I'm going to click the Run Automation button. And I can see that I actually have several different automation workflows to choose from. The first one being an automation workflow provided by AWS called Update Linux AMI. What this workflow does is it allows me to launch a worker instance from a source image ID that I define 
then what automation does is it goes and it updates any AWS tools on that instance. After that, it allows me to call out any pre-update script that I would like to execute. Next comes the actual update step, which will update any distribution packages on the instance using that instance's native package manager. After that, you have the ability to do a post install script. After that, the instance is then stopped, a new image is created, and then the instance is terminated. Let's get started. So I'm going to start by selecting AWS Update Linux AMI. And then I actually have a variety of parameters to fill in here. You can see that some of these parameters have default values. We'll cover those briefly. But three have no values. And this is what I'm going to use my scratch pad for that I created earlier. So I need to grab my source image ID right here. Copy. I'm going to paste that in. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab my roll. Copy. And paste that in. And then finally, I'm going to go back and I'm going to get the ARN. I'm going to grab the whole thing here, copy, go back, paste. All right, so now I've completed the source AMI ID. I filled out the role for the instance. And then I've also completed the automation assume role as well. Some of the other properties that we can change if we want to include the name of the target image, the instance type that we would like our worker instance to be, if there's a pre-update script that we would like to call before the update step, post-update script if we'd like that as well. In this case, there are none. We're going to go with updating all install packages, and we're not going to exclude any packages. All right, we're ready to go. So let's click Run Automation. All right, and we can see that our automation execution has started. I'm going to close this window. And we can see at the top here is our new automation execution. You can see that it's actually in progress. If I click on it, I can see that the first step here, launch instance, is actually active. Let me see if I can widen this column here a little bit. Let's go ahead and jump forward and look at what happens once an execution is completed. OK, so here we can see that we have several different step names. First one was launch instance based on the AWS run instances action type, followed by updating the operating system software that's based on AWS run command, and there's another learning series video that goes into a much deeper dive on how run command works. Uh, three more steps. The next one, stop instances, which is going to be changing the instance state to stopped. And then, of course, creating the image, followed by terminating the instance. Again, another instance, a change instance status step. With any one of these steps, you can actually look at the output for that step. So for example, on this first step here, I can click on the output for launch instance, and I can see that the ID of the instance we launched is laid right here. I'm not going to read it back to you because it's a little long, but there's the output for the step. Similarly, we can go through other steps. For example, we can look at the run command step. And this is going to give us lots of detail regarding all the updates that were applied to the instance as well. So in addition to each step producing output, you can also look at the output of the overall execution here. So in this case here, if I want to look at the output returned by the automation workflow, I can click on it. And we can see here, there's the image ID created by the workflow. So again, we started off with the source ID, and the output of automation was a new target ID. So we just showed you how to update a Linux AMI using an AWS-defined workflow. In the next video, we'll show you how to create your own custom automation workflow. Thanks for watching.